It's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's cereal. It's Wednesday, not Thursday. Yeah. I know. It's Are you cereal. sure about that? Yeah. Quiet on the shit. Roll my cereal. Gravity coffee. everybody this is Laz and this is Jack welcome to another edition of lunch with Laz and Jack where we interpret the news so you don't have to that's right bringing you our own brand of news right here inside Trotted Avatar five days a week <clears throat> for your viewing and listening pleasure how's everybody doing out there welcome to today Today is Whacked Out Wednesday here, January 17th, 2018, inside Trident Avatar as we creep ever to that launch day. Of course, uh, yesterday they uh, opened up the QA server, and don't forget the QA is open to everybody these days, so all you got to do is go out to the forums, check out the QA forum area. Find that link, or should we be kind enough to put that out there for them? We did well, that yesterday, so didn't we? Before. I know. Yeah. That, 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 you, now you that you you want me to go find things on the forums for people? Scroll yeah. back. Yeah, that's no fun. Uh, <laughs> so when you're in the forums, you click on that thing that says "Release 50 QA," and then you mm -hmm. click on "Release 50 Feedback Forum." And then from there, the first post, the one that's pinned, release 50 QA build now available. Now and that, available. And that also has the great links to the the notes, the release 50 notes. The great links to those notes that we're going to start. Yeah, start eventually. Cut. Eventually we're going to do something with it. Is uh, after we take care of those uh, really long stand-up notes from yesterday, dude. Those stand-up yeah. notes take forever to read, man. And yesterday, I mean, a bunch of people braved the weather in Austin uh, to drive to the office and do things. I mean, other people were working <clears throat> from home. Well, I know Lum didn't even chance it. Uh, no, and depending on like. So a lot of people, like uh, Ugly Fist, I know lives over an hour away from the office out in, out on a farm somewhere. So for him, it really is hazardous because whenever it ices in Austin, there are no trucks to go ice the roads. They might sand. You have so, yeah. You have it, no plows. <laughs> yeah, not. Nah. And in the you have, have no emergency plan. The emergency plan is shut everything down for today. Yeah, and uh, th that's because there there is no infrastructure because it doesn't ice over that frequently. And so, uh, why would they Justin pay? Was telling me the same thing yeah. uh, for Dallas. Of course, she was told opening day as well, but that didn't happen over there. Yeah, and. Uh, well, yeah, I'm sure Barrick did Barrick bicycle in. I don't. I don't think he. he I don't even think he bicycle. I don't. Brave that. Yeah, he he was not on the stand up corner, so he did not bicycle the the five minutes to the office. So it yeah. it, it is something where like the if there's no infrastructure to maintain those roads in icy weather, then it really is something where you're dealing with a bunch of ice. Um. And nobody knows how to drive in the ice out in Texas, right? Well, uh, even people that uh, relocate from the north forget matter. how. <laughs> yeah, it, and driving on ice is not the same as driving on snow. Well, we have a similar thing with rain. 
Okay. And since yeah. we have people from every state in the union and all over the world driving down here, as soon as it starts to rain, everybody becomes an idiot and forgets how to drive down here. And it rains every single day. And it rains every day, yes. I mean, you would think that right now they would learn this. I mean, almost every day there's a rainstorm someplace here in Florida. I mean, that's just, no, yeah, no getting over it again. But anyway, enough yeah. of the local weather. Yes, it's freaking cold for most of you out there in the country here in the United States, the rest of the world. I don't know whether it's raining bombs or uh, raining acid rain or not raining at all, but, uh, you know, I know it's cold here in the States for most of you folks listening and watching. No, it now, is. of course, before we go much further, and of course, I don't have the graphic ready, but for those of you who follow follow us on BNN and listen or watch later on on the YouTube channels. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard, there's big changes coming to YouTube and YouTube is going to start dropping a lot of partner people, including your favorite guys here, Laz yeah, and Jack. Uh, Both of us. Uh, yeah. Uh, demonetized. Here we go. Because we don't have enough <clears throat> subscribers. And, uh, Believe it or not, I mean, I was a partnered, you know, player for long before it was fashionable. I mean, when we first started doing this, I believe, I remember when we were setting up, Jack was like, how did you get partnered? And I was signed up for that shit years ago. I just thought it might be useful. But, uh, you know, now, now they don't want our business, apparently, because we don't generate nope. enough, so... But uh, we're going to try, so uh, we're going to be asking people over the next couple of weeks to uh, make those, uh, go out those sub buttons. You can go out to nbnn.info, right under each one of our streams is a YouTube link, and you can click those buttons and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe YouTube button back to the web page pop-up. Uh, so that y'all see it every time you visit the website. And uh, I'm going to be an ass about it, so I'm just warning everybody that you're going to see a YouTube pop-up appearing on the website asking y'all to subscribe so we can get to that follower tomorrow. <laughs> Econ just wants us to <laughs> screw <laughs> YouTube and use you porn. Good up here, yeah. yeah, now again, I was following the conversation inside chat earlier, and uh, Skeggy was having the chat, and... You know, we're, yeah, we're all in this boat. Uh, we know Specs in the same boat. Uh, many others. Going to have to hit Pete up and find out what Pete's status. Well, Pete's got an interesting status. But yeah, you mentioned leaving uh, your video. Problem with that is that Twitch does not keep your videos forever. No, but at, at the same time, I mean, that gives people more of a reason to actually do things and support channels. I mean, you... Player, I mean, if players want to actually continue to see content producers doing things, do, be the, do the nice thing, follow their channels, uh, follow Twitch, follow YouTube, follow all over the place, because a lot of people will sit there and say, hey, you, you know what? I missed your show uh, live, so I went and caught it on YouTube later. And the only way that that works is if that can be monetized in some way and yeah you know what if youtube is going to say hey we don't want your business you know what that means that possibly they lose their, their business well i think uh, they're gonna see a little hit in the pot probably not much because yeah. those those pennies that they're paying out the those uh, crumbs as it may be right Zeb? crumbs yeah <laughs> see you getting coffee <laughs> yes yeah, it's it's a pittance but uh, uh every little bit of people uh, of course uh, so we're gonna be asking you to go out there and hit that subscribe button out on youtube and uh we'll be uh pushing that until either they drop us or we make the numbers so crumbs. hopefully we're gonna make those numbers yeah. crumbs I was in case. crumbs crumbs that's right oh. damn crumbs now they got a monopoly they don't have to worry about nothing well, not quite true. And again, uh, as uh, these conglomerate and do whatever it is they're doing out there, there's all sorts of different services available. 
I mean, as everybody knows, well, anybody who knows us for a while knows that at one point we used to stream directly to YouTube and Twitch uh, simultaneously every day, but YouTube's streaming service never really caught on. No, it, it, I mean, it's like the most I think I had on YouTube streaming uh, was, what, three viewers? Like three. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, mean, I, used use it. I used to use it till at least. So, well, you know, if you, you got a niche, that's one thing. But most people aren't, for YouTube, aren't looking to go watch YouTube live. They want to go watch YouTube when they want to watch YouTube. Now, Twitch users are looking for live content. That's what differentiates the two platforms and makes them a world of difference. Most Twitch users, and I get it all the time. I have a chat box open 24 hours here and we've got the 24 hour loop on. And a lot of times people come to think they ask is, is this live? And they want to know if they're watching a live show or not, so. Yeah, yeah, YouTube would just work for me. The Twitch would not work because it wanted me, well, to, yeah. wanted me to open up all kind of security holes. Uh, wouldn't work on Use you browsers. So, how you going from Paxlayer? How you doing, Sean? Welcome to the stream today, Bojax. Of course, it's it's nice just cold you. outside. Yeah. It's cold uh, yeah. outside. No, it's, it's not. cold outside. It's like Seventy-five yeah. degrees out there. <laughs> it's a black. Right? Yeah, uh, cold. Cold. I can't, I can't complain. It's in mid 60s. All these people are. That's okay. I still wearing I still ain't wearing any pants, so I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I'm wearing Stand pants, up. I'm wearing socks, I'm wearing shoes. I mean this this doesn't this doesn't work for me. Yeah, I don't know what to do. It's like all these clothes. Oh, I know you're out there in Twitch. Is there any way, uh, I don't know if you had not even look. Are you here in uh, the Discord room? Anyway, you can come in here and uh, chat us up about the upcoming uh, Pack Slayer 20th anniversary party. I know that's going to be a 30 yeah. second delay for him. So yeah, while well, we, uh, find the answer to that. So, so while he's possibly doing that i we can always talk about that extensive uh uh stand-up corner from yesterday and now, uh, there there was I also was say, an update on chris's blog and yeah it is a really big big uh post on chris's blog i know but uh, i was gonna ask do you want to do monday's stand-up corner just because because uh, we, we didn't do that on Tuesday, and uh, of course, today's is yesterday's is well, quite laughable. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, and they're on different pages, so it's two stand up corners for you guys. So I had to go back a page. So uh, don't forget, stand up corners where the devs say, Hey, I worked on this yesterday, I'm working on this today. Something random gets written down, eventually gets posted to the interwebs, and we get to interpret it. So Monday. It might be what they were doing on Monday. It might be what they were doing on Friday. No idea. So over in the art department, Bob the Builder. Death Bunny Bob. He was working on that holiday party and He's asset audit. Celebrating that holiday party. Yeah, and, and the dual <laughs> wax cylinder player, aka the DJ table, because you're going to be able to do weird things with wax cylinders and and, and maybe do some scratching. Um, I no, it's not actually with the wax cylinders. I read the descriptors on those, and uh, well, speaking to Star, I mean, he was saying wax. He was saying wax cylinders. So I. Well, that's not what yeah. he's got in the notes. It's uh, maybe maybe they've got some other surprises planned, but we'll get to that. So nope. Hey, we'll see it when we see it. Here. Right. Yeah, that's right. And then uh, Damon, he was working on buffs, Damon. visual effects update, and optimization, and visual effects pass. Whereas Fletcher... He just ask Gix when he gets in here, that's all. Yeah, Fletcher was posting uh, the Dippy Birds pictures uh, on Facebook as he works on NPC faces. Then, I did uh, not see that. Oh, uh, you didn't see the di uh, Fletcher's uh, Facebook post? Nah, I have oh, to go okay. go check that out. Yeah. Uh, then the Ugly Fist, he was working on NPC, 
NPC faces and wolves. The almighty Gix Vargach, Matt He was working on exercise emotes because he'd much rather you prefer he prefers to virtually exercise than do it in real life. Hey, hey game does it count towards my merits points? I want points for that. <clears throat> yeah, I moved around in a in the game, so that that should be my my yeah. my points for the day, right? When I get up and run around a lot and go out questing. I should I should be logging miles for all the miles I run across. Yeah. Then Reed, he was working on decorations and optimizations and holiday party and player home updates. Over in design, Beezus. The beads. He's working on setup wolves and setup boars and clan armor stats. And don't forget that that, little, uh, that is all of the different uh, barbarian clans. At, so different animals, I guess, will have different stats. Instead of everybody having the same thing. That'll be interesting. Indeed. Yeah, Sea Wolf. Sea Wolf. Working on traps and Sunless Baron spawning and optimization and in-game maps. Where is Damien? Damien. He's working on Solace Bridge outskirts, points of interest, and tutorial updates. Dan the Man Brennan. Dan the Man. Working on Sunless Barons and quest points of interest. Whereas Sanyo, he was working on quests. Lum the Mad, doing that thing he hates to do with Lum tutorial mad. updates. <clears throat> Sorcerer Stay Steve, home. working on in-game maps. The Energy Vortex, List Rostov. <gasps> working on the South, Drockvald Spur, and Bugs. Bug. And in-game maps. I like that. In-game maps, in-game maps, in-game maps. Everybody's all over them maps. Well, they've got to build them all out. Yeah, well, if you've been in the QA, talk about that. We'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. Keep them hanging by that thread. Don't, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Over in tech, Dr. Bobby. <laughs> Little Bobby Thompson. He was working on automation and design support and in-game maps and meetings. Automating those in-game maps. Hmm. Yeah. Does that make you go? Hmm. Doing those weird things. Weird things. Trying to make the game playable. Boom, boom. Then, uh... Yeah, dig, like, digging the tune Spiss plan. Yep. This time. Yeah. <laughs> JY... <laughs> We, we better keep talking over it before it flags us. I tell you what, this, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, JY is working on the holiday party and load time performance and network communications. Wizard Smoke. Uh, oh, here we go. It's puff Puff passing around item locking. <laughs> the Deathbringer one and only. He was working on Unity updates and bugs. Bug. And spawning. And cloth simulation performance. Item locking. Yes, another one we want to talk about. Although I didn't see any note on it. Well, not yet. I mean, I would expect that to come out in release 51. And then, uh... Possibly, because, um... They, they're long past um, lockdown. So that would... Uh, item locking would be a new feature. No, they're not. Lockdown ain't till tomorrow. Are you sure about that? Yeah, tomorrow's yeah, Thursday. Okay. Oh, yeah. At least yeah, ain't yeah. till next Thursday. Lockdown's yeah. not till tomorrow. Yeah, All next, right. next Thursday, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we'll see. Then, we uh, shall see. That's the, right. The Burning Toad. The Burn. It's working on bank, perf bank loading performance and user interface support and offline bugs. Bug. Then The Rock. The Rock, Corey. Work, working on 
account address verification and in-game map system updates and Tassilo's working on network updates and security updates and maintenance mode plan and Travian support. Out in studio oh, services cool. land, Andrea working on forums and the bug brigade direction. Hello, really? What? 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 Okay, didn't we disband the bug brigade at the beginning of this year, and now we went to some kind of lottery g <laughs> giving away no bug brigade? But now we're looking at the bug brigade's direction. I mean. <laughs> Hey, how are we looking at the direction of something that was disbanded? <laughs> oh, they're still looking at the direction of it. Uh -oh. Ooh. Yeah, has it gone down the toilet yet? I don't know. Yeah. Anybody here on the Bug Brigade got any information on that? Please let me know. Yeah, Barrick was working on a holiday party and forums and community and meetings and office support. Whereas the Attenwood, he was working on sanity testing and sales updates and holiday party and Jira testing. Chaos, he was working on sales update and rewards delivery and address verification planning and customer service direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Serafina, working on that customer service. Wonderful customer And Jira service. testing and weekly update QA and office support. Over in useless overhead, you had the Dippy Bird working on performance oh, profiling and holiday party and post-mortem questions. Whereas Gorn, he was working on general business. Didn't it? And uh, the holiday party. Whereas Hutch, he was working on the log player home updates and lead meetings and lava flow updates. The Dork Star working on release 50 post and weekly update in holiday party and DJ Dark Star in forums and meetings. Stefan working on marketing in web direction, in testing, in community review, and localization. <laughs> Which takes us to page 58. New page! 58 pages. Yeah. <clears throat> and that huge stand up corner from yesterday. Yep. This is Taco Tuesdays. Remember, today is hump day, unless you're watching this in repeats somewhere. And we have no idea. And we don't know when and how no. you're watching. No. That's right. Unless it happens to be a Wednesday. Uh, That's right. The art department was fully staffed by Bob the Builder. Yeah, Bunny Bob. Nothing stops him from yeah. getting anything of his work done. As he works on the dual wax cylinder player and braving the Arctic Texan roads. Now that makes sense. Okay. Never mind. What? Now that makes sense. Okay. It, 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 it didn't make sense before? No. Um, oh, okay. Because there was mention of a new phonograph, but they there, there didn't really... No. I didn't, I didn't see the two wax cylinder thing because the other things have a different descriptor on them. So. Well, even yesterday it said dual wax cylinder player. Again, what wasn't wasn't yeah. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. I didn't read it yesterday. Shut up. Uh, okay. <laughs> Over in design, Dan. Come on, man. The man oh, made it into the office. Yeah, he he, yeah, he made it into the it. sunless baron spawning and pizzazz. Pizzazz. In boar propagation and braving the Arctic Texan roads. Uh, Sanyo, he was working on the boar in barbarian cleanup uh, clan updates, and my airship, the Jack of Diamonds. The Jack of Diamonds. Yeah, we'll it, talk about that. We'll talk about hey, that. Hey, it's it's in the. the I, I know. I, Jack of Forts. I to explore it yesterday, and I found out something interesting. So what? You couldn't find it. <laughs> oh no! I, I I found I found the bouncer. I found the entrance. Okay, uh, and he was also braving Arctic Texan roads. Braving Arctic Texan roads. Yep. That takes us to the Tassilo show on the Discovery Channel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Tassilo, 
Remember, he is somewhere in Europe. He's I believe. I, I believe he's in Paris right now. Yeah, I was gonna say he's always remote. And and, and that's not Paris, Texas. <laughs> that's Paris, France. Uh, that's Paris, France. That's yeah. Right. Um, working on Travian support and Black Sun support and maintenance mode pan, plan and code reviews. And then over in Studio Services, we had Chaos working on Jira updates and task management and braving the Arctic Texan roads. And last but not least, we had Serafina in the office as she worked on customer service and address verification Getting testing. Customer service done after braving those Arctic Texan roads. Yes. <laughs> they are. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. I was watching a news report yesterday and uh, so it was showing a picture of <clears throat> I-35. One side was completely shut down due to a car accident. And then if you watched the middle, you could actually see a car like hit some ice and just spin out of control. Yes. So, it's like, whoops, there goes bye. that person. Spiff, are you there? He's, he's yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I'm here. What do you need? I'm going to say, is a... I'm plus races in music. I just wanted to say, keep it up. <laughs> Since I can actually hear music properly now, I changes make uh, a world of difference. Yeah. When you change your settings, yes, it it, it does. Yeah, it says. Uh, it, it makes it but, so that uh, way I hear you sounding like a tin can, but other people are telephone. Yeah, it's it's weird. I, I, I should have taught, you know, made that string a little tighter when we left that line from Texas to Florida, you know. Well, yeah, and I don't... <laughs> it, it makes me think that it's something in Discord <clears throat> that's making it sound like that. I, you know, I, I I was thinking about that, and uh, Discord's been a little quick. I think later on today, after today's show, I'm going to go uh, kick the server around and flip servers once or twice and see if we can get a better connection because I've been seeing a lot of uh, latency as it may be. Well, did you ever apply for the uh, Discord partner status? I did. Okay. That was the text to apply for us yeah. for the Airy Fund. Okay, yeah. And of course, since we're a non-for-profit with the Airy Fund, we got it in 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah. I, got, I got rejected in 30 seconds. The Airy Fund got accepted in 30 uh. seconds. It was that simple. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yes, we, we have it for the airy fun. So that, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. We may have to switch and start going over there and bring people over there. Yeah, I just, yeah. I, I think we've been on the server too long. I think you just got to kick it around a little bit. That's all. But anyway, moving right along. Um, have uh, some big news and of course I want to hit the uh, see if I can find that Paxlayer post real quick Sean said he'll be in tomorrow to uh, okay. talk a little bit about it when he uh, when he has a new microphone and headset otherwise he said we'd be really like pulling our hair out so I'm going to guess it's going to be under the early access community events I know there's a post there and is it on the reoccurring? There it is. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Release 50 events. And I know I saw the post. It's not there. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's, it's much All more. Right, it's well, much. It's much more important to talk about the airy fund and that virtue marathon <gasps> because there's still time. To make a donation to get that in-game cloak. <gasps> Yay! Airy Fond. Yeah. Yes, there is. Uh... And and that also is... And so it, you do need to go to the Make a Difference forums. Then to click on the it's Virtue Marathon. Commercials. No. Commercials, but... Never. N never. 
because there's there's another announcement related to the Airy Fund that Laz is going to be talking about in just a second. That's right. So uh, this uh, this is information. I actually, yeah, I actually have that graphic, but uh, it's, in actually, the, it's in the forums. Thanks actually it's made that announcement on the forums today the too, forms. didn't he? Yes, he did. Uh, yes, he did. Of course. Uh, so yes, if you want the. Uh, the merits cloak related to the Virtue Marathon 2018, you do need to donate $25 or more to the Children's Miracle Hospital Network. Uh, follow the link and make sure that when donating that you include your in-game avatar name in the custom message field. Uh, so that way we can make sure that you get your reward via in-game mail. So you ready for that latest yes, thing? Yes, I have it up there. Uh, of course... Uh... Happening February 9th, episode one of the Airy Fund Live on Twitch TV slash Airy Fund is going to be happening. And uh, the Airy Fund Live is going to be bringing you news about uh, the Airy Fund. We're going to have special guests on, on February 9th. We're going to have uh, Eric A. and Eric S. from the Merit. And we're going to be talking about the creation of the Merits app and what uh, what it took to get that uh, going, all sorts of things that bring uh, news about what's upcoming for the Airy Fund over the next year and all the things that we're going to be striving for in, in the head, or at least this year ahead. Of course, uh, we're, we're really uh, elated to be involved with Merits Gaming and the Polarium crew. And a lot more coming for you guys. Uh, great stuff coming down the pipe all over the place. Uh, this is just going to be some really cool stuff here, here in, yes. what, in the digital age, man. The digital age is just great shit. That's all I got to say. Well, it, uh, it also gives people a much better chance to learn more about Merits directly from the, the Merits from the people. Founders. Yes. That's right. And it's one where it's like we... I'm sure that you're going to be discussing. I, I don't know exactly what you're going to be discussing, but uh, I'm pretty sure that you're going to go over the history of Merits, their their partnerships with different gaming and companies. And there's going to be a script. And, yeah. And, and questions. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's, it's not going to be lunch with Laz and Jack, that's for sure. They're going to give me a script of things they want me to talk about, and I'm going to go and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to ask the pertinent questions. Oh, okay. I, actually, it's going to be uh, yeah, quite. Proper, it's quite informed. No, no, no. It was, uh, it, it's going to be structured, uh, unlike lunch with Laz and Jack, which is a good thing. Really. Um, Airy Fun Live is going to go after the hard questions: the who, what, when, where, how, and why. A thing we're going to be covering, and uh, actually going to have some structure to it, and okay. some real guests, and uh, cool. some real impact on the community as we uh, continue gamers helping gamers out there uh, in community causes throughout the year. We'll be, uh, hopefully we'll have our, our little events we're going to be hosting and uh, helping fund, as well as other events happening in and out of game. Again, don't forget the upcoming marathon. Uh, we're going to be working with, again, Merits and Tragedy Avatar at the uh, Austin Marathon. And the team Avatar is going to be running for the Children's Miracle Hospital Network, saving children's lives. So uh, good works through gaming via the Airy Fund, Tragedy Avatar, and the Merits app. And I can't tell you how elated we are to be part of all this great stuff. Uh, not only do we bring you the news here, but we are also... So very fun and really excited to be able to bring these things to you guys and help out the community. I mean, who'd have thunk, Jack? You know, somebody told us almost three years ago that what we started as a joke would not only branch out to be the premier news network here okay. in the game, but and also that we would actually be sort of a charitable organization doing the kind of things we do. Uh, oh, it, I would have never thought, that's for sure. It is absolutely never phenomenal. Yeah. All right. I mean, the fact, the fact yeah. that we've actually been able to meet the team and interact with the team is also phenomenal because that, that's something that I've never done before in my gaming history, extending all the way back to the 80s. <laughs> what are you going to do, Jeff? 
You know, not only that, I mean, we, we raised just about $80,000 uh, less than a year last year in our breakout year between February and December. And, and uh, seven or 70 plus thousand, I don't know the exact numbers, but I should always have those handy. But we gave away a shitload of money and uh, helped a lot of people last year. And we're going to continue to do that again this year with your help. So uh, stay tuned. Airy Fun Live coming up uh, this February 9th with special guests Eric, Eric and App will be telling you more about that as we uh, as we get closer. Yes. Yes. It will be. Can't fun find stuff. that. Uh, yeah, I can't yeah. find that uh, Pax Layer one. We'll have the Pax Layer one for you tomorrow. But again, I will remind you of coming up to Pax Layer's twentieth anniversary. Now uh, started in UO and uh, brought over to Shroud Avatar. Yes. I was going to say we still have to talk about Chris's daily blog. Ah, yes, Chris's daily blog. Oh, no, no day would be complete without. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. An it, from it's Chris. gonna it's gonna be one of those ones <clears throat> where it's like people are gonna be mm-hmm. scratching their heads, going, "Why?" And <laughs> so you ready for it? You're yeah. you ready for the big news? Yeah. yeah. So this yeah. was posted on yesterday or t- today. He try. was he was <laughs> out yesterday for the snow apocalypse. The Although it should, it, sh- it should have been called the ice apocalypse, not the snow apocalypse. No, no, no. We can't call it ice. We have to call it frost. We don't want no, it, it, it. It was ice. An ice yeah. Pipe. <laughs> yeah, it was the ice apocalypse. Um, so today he's going to be doing a ton of different stuff. And step one is making it so fewer movement effects stack. Wish him luck. Hmm. Wish me luck. Now, there's not a whole lot of movement effects. I mean, it's like well, dash does, and sprint. What, what is a movement effects? Well, I, I think okay. I think that's where he's referring to uh, dash, dodge, dash, and, yeah, sprint. sprint. Well, yeah. I mean, is ground movement effect? I mean, you know, we gotta we gotta ask these questions. What is, what is a movement effect? Is it things that affect your movement? Or switches. Is it, yeah. Got swishes going. Yeah. yeah it, oh, at their pockets. And every fine. time I cast a spell, I have some movement. Are you going to affect my movement? And uh, th- that that's ones where it's, <coughs> it's probably going to be like the shields where you couldn't have all the different shield effects going on at the same time. And Visible air pockets going on behind you. you yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay. just because those things don't last very long. But ch- huge changes to buffs are going to be coming in some buffs. more. So be prepared. I, to I, buffs. Yeah, it, it's kind of like on the QA server right now. Don't cast any heal of time over time spells <laughs> unless you want to kill someone. Oh, it, it, it's a bug on the QA server. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, Justin was texting me about it earlier. It's pretty funny. <laughs> if you if you want to kill someone, cast a heal over time spell. <laughs> they moved it to the R forty nine events, Saint Sean. I, why did not I think that? I don't know. Why would they do that? What? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shroud map. Yeah, Shroud Forum. Really events, we released 49 events because we took a day off. So I don't know. As I'm just, I'm well, just catching up on chat over here. See, that that's also one where it's like, I, I don't understand. I don't referring even... to walking speed. Yeah. yeah. Now, what, that, now see that? That, yeah. that would be, if I have the skills, I should, you know. Then give me a freaking horse if you don't want me using my coconuts and dash and a wolf speed uh, potion. Give me a give horse. horse. This ain't no social program, man. Yeah. We got horses. Just yeah. give me a horse. Hey, n- well, you know, if you don't want me stacking those speed of movement thing. Hey, it's going to be even funnier <laughs> when know? he fixes <clears throat> all of the, the weight control buffs. So that way those don't stack. And everybody's overweight on the overworld map and can't move anyways. No, he's he's already done the final fixes of that, and he's done that to uh, 
yeah, because they've been, they've been back and forth. And he made a final pass. I thought was a final pass on that because of the complaints that people were having and there, stuff. There is no such thing as a final pass. What I mean? Yeah. And he addressed that issue a long time ago. Is what I'm saying. I don't think oh, he's yeah. go back and mess with that. Hey, uh, I still want to be able to know. I still want to be on one to... thing. You break something else. We know that happens a lot. So those damn speed demons. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Star Long running by me like he was the Flash from way, way back, man. That that thing was just the freakiest thing. What? Uh, See, uh, the GM speed runner. hacking? <laughs> you I mean, literally, literally it looked like the Flash. <laughs> the blur went by, and by the time I turned... Well, that was your old around. graphics processor. Everybody moved past you like the Flash. Yeah. And you couldn't even jump. And I had nothing to do. <laughs> Do it, bite me. Just <laughs> walking around like he's got a stick up his ass. Shh, it's still there. It's still there. <laughs> Alrighty, you want to give them a little tease? Just the well, we, we'll we'll give him. Hold on. Did, did I post that Just picture inside of a uh, Facebook? I mean, uh, from Facebook. Uh, hold on. No, I didn't. No, no, I didn't. Uh, no. Hold on. Let's do it. it. It's it's a weather related picture from the uh, National Weather Service from the other day. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Just the tip. Okay, so. Just the tip. See, I see. Yeah, but that was, that was from the other day. It's not from today. Uh, let's see. Where am I at? Where am I at? So we do have release 50 QA uh, or release 50 post early, early state. Very freaking early. So rough freaking draft. Do it will. Not grow yes. Information. <laughs> it will be changing substantially. Thank you. So. As far as story goes, they're going to continue to work on adding side quests and polish to the path of truth, love, and courage. Additionally, they're going to do continue doing polish work focused specifically on the starting scenes. Also, they will continue to add and update maps for the in-game map system. Finally, some adventure scenes in various regions of Novia will be rebuilt from scratch. Yay! Uh, the uh, Path of Love is getting some more polish. When you start the Path of Love after ending the, the game on one of the other paths, w after starting the game on one of the other paths, we have added a task to Edvard. Find out why the unde undead are rising that sends you to the Salisburge outskirts to gain the love banner and then leads you to Kinsey in Soul Town. Mm -hmm. Yes, the... the Edvard. Battle of High Vale is being polished for quest highlighting and locations. Quest specific items glow in tasks show up properly in the compass and map. The enemy difficulty was lowered uh, the, by approximately 50%. Uh, then they also added a bunch of other enemies and changed the range as well. Yeah. Don't go around telling everybody in the world, not you, anybody out there who's listening to that you heard Laz and Jack he say that enemies were lowered by 50%. These no, no, are no, no. Particular to their scene. That is the Battle of High Vale. Battle that, of High Vale. Yeah. Specific, oh. Specifically. Specific scenes we're talking yeah. about here. So. Overall. Yeah. Don't be no. twisting what you hear because uh, ah. each scene was balanced quite differently, as you're about to find out. So. Uh, yeah, uh, the C Horatio task was they added a task to Floyd, who asked you to speak to Horatio in High Vale Outskirts to better transition Horatio. players to the next scene. The combat mode now automatically turns on the first time you pick up a weapon. Woohoo! Yeah. They yes. automatically teach you how to attack. I like that. Well, me to me, <laughs> it's like. man. Fatui. Yeah, Fatui. The, the Fatui is still Fatuxed, man. Yeah, I know, but yeah. it's, that's a big help right there. Yeah, or should we say, um, 
And Nutrition Wild wants to know, is there a set date the, that Soda will launch? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Spe days. Speaking of that, th that is... 68 days, 21 hours, 45 minutes, and 31 yes. seconds from now. Yeah, so I, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry I'm sorry. it took me a couple minutes to get that. Uh, my apologies, but yeah. Hey, I thought it was 60 yesterday. What the hell, 68? Yeah. Yeah, you had to sleep on Monday. What the hell happened? Yeah. And for those of you wanting to know when official launches, or at least, you know, um, check out the Shrouded Avatar website, shroudedavatar.com, and there is a countdown timer, too. Um, and I'm going to flip over again to that. What? Reset. Yeah, See, Shreddy what? Avatar's launch day approaches is See, what it says. What, what I wish they would do is they would update the front page with that information because it's not on the very front page of the shroud you actually have to go into the like learn more community fact that the second main page what do you um, mean so when, when you just go to shroud of the avatar website don't forget it plays that video with the play now right. button it doesn't have the right. time to launch you actually have to go into well, they one want of the, you to log in and create an account. I mean, well, that's yeah. just on the front page. You have it, a second coming type. What the hell? That would be redesigning <clears throat> that front page and that landing page because that needs a serious overhaul. And I don't even know who would be responsible for that. Tassel. Tassel and Rock. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You know, you know who, to, who a web developer was? You know who was just hired as a web developer? Developer, you have to make that <clears throat> statement. You know who it is. It's probably Barrick. <laughs> it's all oh, Barrick. It's all, yeah. Yeah. But, See, that's uh, that's yes. three possible employees. It's like Just, yeah, wh whom you could dial up at any given time and go, hey, dude, who's who's got this? Here's an idea for you. I you only have one of those numbers. Just yeah. have a list. You yell down the hallway. Call the yeah. office. Call, Don't worry. Call, you call the, the, the hallway <laughs> list. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Jack, Jack knows to call the office. <laughs> there, there is no office phone number. <laughs> there is no phone at the job. That's right. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Edvard has some dialogue about Tracy. So Now, uh, it, I just wanted to pick on this for a minute, of yeah. course, because as it says, get ready avatars launch day. April. Um, they will also tell us that that is release candidate launch. But, yes, release you know, candidate launch. Not, the hell yeah, like, and that, that, yeah, again, it's trash man. Well, oh, so release candidate as far as this game is, it's just changing that yellow thing at the top. It's that will disappear. That's about it. I mean, for for all intents it and won't purposes, say yeah. early access anymore. It will say release. No, it, it it won't even say that. That 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 information will you probably just disappear. Fact? Why would they include you, that on their live version of the game? Because so you know, it's like not a release candidate. Release you have. Okay. Yeah. Release candidate is not release. <clears throat> have you been in the last Double 30 talk. years of game development? Double talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you know what? When's the game going gold? <laughs> <laughs> that happened last July. <laughs> oh, it's, that uh, it's that time again, man. Uh, I know. Uh, 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 that give give everybody pause and of course a reason to come back tomorrow and hear us interpret a whole lot more of those release notes <laughs> because quite a few yeah. interesting notes in there um some things i'm really excited to see some yep. things i'm not too excited to see yeah. Yeah, that's the point but it's okay nobody's perfect <laughs> but yeah. yeah it's time to tell you all about that wonderful enemy an avatar app available for you oh, out on all the app stores you can find it on google play the apple itunes store or the amazon app store for those of you folks out there and of course i'm going to scroll up a little bit here um on this page and show you all uh <clears throat> right here on the nn site where we are every day telling you about this you can just scroll down a little bit right next to each one of our videos the youtube subscribe button if we could ask you guys and gals out there to please go out and hit that subscribe button, we would greatly appreciate it because uh, 
lot of us uh, YouTubers are going to be cut off from a monetization process and uh, bringing you all this great stuff. And it may not be out there no more if we ain't making no money. So uh, if you want you to see us out there on YouTube, click those subscribe buttons, people. Absolutely. Of course, the NBNN chat bringing you all sorts of great stuff. You can read the NBNN Daily Britannia. And that's published seven days a week. For those of you folks who haven't heard it, uh, yes, we actually publish a newspaper. That's available off the uh, website as well. Just click on the news tab. Uh, you can subscribe to the Britannia and get it in your inbox every day. Just get it in your email so you don't have to go looking for it. You can uh, check out Soda Map, browse the forums, go shop and come on into discord or of course you can check out what's happening in today's events in the shroud of the avatar calendar that's right that shroud calendar that thing that does weird things because it's got all those events you know what what what's going, going on around town in game on the radios all kinds of stuff anything and everything related to shroud of the avatar if you is all these Google public calendars were tied together and aggregated by Laz. And if you have a Google public calendar, or if you want to add events to the Shroud community calendar, you need to email that guy news at nbnn.info and eventually he'll get it posted to the interwebs. Don't forget Monday through Friday, 12s and 6s around the clock. You can always tune in your ether amplifiers to radiofreebritannia.com. That'd be all right, B. And listen to two idiots interpreting the news so you don't have to on a little show called Lunch with us. With us. That's right. Yes. At 5 p.m. on Avatar's radio, they're going country. At 7 p.m. on um, Radio Free Britannia. Maybe you are happy. You've got the 70s at 7, followed by your ear holes getting probed by none getting other. probed none this other evening. Then, by the doctor. Yeah, that's right. Dr. Eclipse Maiden is going to be the DJ for Unmedicated Schizophrenia, part un. <clears throat> In game, you've got Striker Spur Hawks Happy Hour, Laz's favorite event of the week because it's also known as Spin Spar Hawks. Goal. And that's taking place at some place in game. Just message Striker Sparhawk or go find some them. Place go. at 8 p.m. Yeah, that's right. Man. Just go Most find his form. Find for me post. sipping yeah. on Striker's libations. He pays for. And the final event of the evening is on Radio Free Britannia. W R F B. And that is the record room. And that's what our devs are working on. And, or wait. Wait, that's what's going on in game. Yeah, that's on, what for this hump day. <laughs> that's what yeah, our players are working on out that's, there in the world for you yeah, here yeah, in that, that, the shroud of the yeah. Avatar. Hump day, man. That's hump day. Right. Hump day. Yep. Yeah. January seventeenth. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Move along. Move along. Moving right along. That's right. You got to remind us, of course, that you are watching. Lunch right here on NBNN with Laz and Jack. You're watching on twitch.tv slash twitch.tv slash and assist, depending on which channel you're watching. Or you're watching us in replays on YouTube. If you're watching in replays on YouTube, hit that sub button, please. We need all the subs we can get right now. That's right. And of course, uh, bringing you to late. This uh, information right here, five days a week. Of course, the Airy Fun T-shirt sweepstakes is going on, and that'll be going on right up until um, the Merit Tap Shrouded Avatar bringing you the Airy Fun's T-shirt sweepstakes. Uh, you too can win uh, one of five competition shirts that the Team Avatar folks are going to be wearing down at the Austin Marathon, and these uh, beautiful shirts are going to be worn by all the runners. You by going out to the Merits app and uh, getting in on the daily drawing. Of course, uh, don't forget the Merits app also allows you to win, not win, but claim free Obsidian Potions once every three days just for doing the things you normally do. Go out to Merits app and check that out. Of course, uh, don't forget to get your daily groove on in the game. 
Coil more wands, putting the magic in your hands. You're looking for a custom staver wand? Arius Coil more is the guy to find. And you can check him out every Monday night right here on the radio waves on WRF. Oh, that's what it's music music service. It's Scrota. It's music and it's a service, unlike Led Zepp, who has no services. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> trying to subscribe oh, to your YouTube oh, channel. Oh, it won't oh, let me. Oh, you're oh, probably already a subscriber. No, uh, because I guess I'm not a member or whatever. I didn't give them all my, yeah, my you uh, click on the rights. Click on the website, man. Oh, uh, you got to be a member of YouTube or whatever. Oh, uh, you have to be signed up to so you use YouTube. Uh, yeah. 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 Britannian Mining uh, Company wants you to come check out Black Rock Co. First, the Dude Drop In, located right here inside Owl's Head. Dude Drop In for your convenience. You can go check out more information posted at the Dude Drop In right across from the stables here in Owl's Head. And of course, out of Black Rock Co. You too can get your craft on by checking out all the merch in Black Rock. Of course, if you want to open a shop, shops and space are now available. You can go out and place your own lot in Black Rock Cove and become your merchant. Located in the Quell region right next to the town of Exeter, conveniently located near the Exeter and Elysium Mines for those to you as well. Relicsbyreal.com for all your licensed shrouded avatar swag. If you want hats, you want you want patches, you want the elusive NBNN I love this shit bumper sticker. Go to relicsbyreal.com. Shrouded avatar swag available out in his store. If you want to save a little bit of money, mention us. Use the promo code NBNN and you'll save 10% when you check out relicsbyreal.com. WRFB Radio Free Britannia, bringing you the latest in news and entertainment throughout the week. Right here inside Shrouded Avatar for the weekly schedule, go to WRFB.rocks or RadioFreeBritannia.com and you can just download the link and find out what's going on throughout the week on the airwaves. Of course, last but not least, ShroudMarketplace.com for all you your verbal needs inside and outside of the game here in Shroud of the Avatar. And Jack is going to tell you all about the marketplace. You know, that ShroudMarketplace.com is the best place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. Anything. There are over 90 different anything. players registered as vendors. Yeah, anything related to Shroud of the Avatar can be bought or sold on Shroud Marketplace. From accounts to game gold to armor i mean to patterns to teleports and recall scrolls that guy's selling teleports this guy's selling teleports i mean different shops different prices GT. yeah and every single vendor that adds their items gets to set their own prices and maintains their own inventory so it is a best thing related Market to place yeah. for you and try I mean, if you're looking for some artifacts, if you're looking for expired add-on store items, pledge it, pledge rewards, telethon rares, all kinds of stuff, including services, you can find that at shroudmarketplace.com. Or if you want to start posting your stuff, you can do that as well. And there's GM mining training runs on there. There's uh, power hours. There is decorating services. There's cheese sign writing services. Their Scrotus cheesy Music Service. Writing. I know. It's like you've got Scrotus Music love Service. The cheesy yeah. writing. Or if you're looking or for an in game wedding, you can find that at Shroud Marketplace. I, that guy, you do weddings. That's right. right. Yeah. Not just weddings, but a whole lot more. You heard Jack say it. I got everything from ETH. The survivor to full sets of virtue costumes available out there. Some other uh, old school and uh, virtue armor as well as some houses, some lots, uh, the elusive Lord British Serpent's necklace, and of course, wedding packages, because we're not just weddings, we're a whole lot more. If you want a lakeside wedding, you want a seaside wedding, you want a above ground wedding, you want an underground wedding, you want a bloodletting wedding, we've got it all right here, weddings and more by Laz. That's right. Shroudmarketplace.com. Yeah, shroudmarketplace.com. Right. If you want to start selling your stuff, you do need to register for an account. 
in the top left hand corner and then on the left hand side click on that button that says vendor registration and you can start adding your stuff and then you can go through the price is free unlimited listings uh, no longer a limit to what you can list on that is right <clears throat> don't forget there's also vip packages so you want to get the reduce your commission rate to the service from yeah reduce <laughs> that's right all it, sorts of great stuff. you can become a featured vendor i mean all kinds of stuff i mean look at that stuff get your stuff right up top but you oh, don't yeah. think in a store front is zip yep you can bet now yeah <clears throat> what's that okay not bad you can all ask a place that's just good. It says foot pedal. <laughs> but yes, yeah, it, no, it, no hands. It's 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 gonna be his voice activation inside of Discord. That's probably what it is. Uh but yes. It shouldn't be that either, but we, anyway. We do have to thank everybody for watching out on Twitch, YouTube. Don't forget to click those subscribe buttons in on Twitch and in YouTube for both of our channels. Help us out. Mostly on yes. I yes. tried, they wouldn't let me. Lies. Sign up. Sign it up. Is. Sign yes. up. They want my hey. phone number and an email address. It's not our damn business. Yeah, like the government doesn't already have that. I tell yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, cool. <laughs> Th thank you guys for watching, hang hanging out, and doing all that stuff. Um, we couldn't do the show That's without right. thank you, you guys, and we do it for you guys. So thank you, everybody. We appreciate <laughs> it. it. We will see you all. Uh, Tomorrow, right here on NBN. Something Land. like that. Yep. We are, and we are NBNN. Have a we'll see you all tomorrow. What? Bye bye. Thanks, Skaggy. I love you. I tried. I tried. Yes. Don't forget. That was a fucked up, man.